Hello everybody, my name is Lee Keither and welcome to Smokers on the Water. La la la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Hello everybody, and this is the first video for the channel, Smokers on the Water. And it's going to be focused on my new Old Country Wrangler. Um, the reason I got the Wrangler is because it's shorter and there's less cook space in there. But for my little backyard here, backyard, um, back deck here, it's going to be a good size for me. And this is good for having a couple friends over, having a couple racks of ribs, maybe a brisket on it. It's pretty good. And, um, what we're going to be doing is going over some of the mods that we do, some of the things that you need to do when you purchase one of these. And another thing about this channel is it's going to be focusing on my aspirations to be building smokers with a friend of mine. And um, one of the things we're going to be doing with the Wrangler is we're going to be learning certain things about it like smoke loss. Um, how to mod it up in different ways and stuff like that. Also, how to cook on it and the basics like that. Now, um, one of the things that people always do with these is you, they come with this grill grate and what most people do is they'll take this out and then this is the actual charcoal pan. If, you will, where you put the charcoal on and then the wood over it after that. What most people end up doing is they'll take this out then they'll put this in and that's going to have better airflow for the fire coming up. And then they'll take this and they will stick this inside here sort of a makeshift tuning plate. A lot of people I've seen do this mod for the old country, and I'm sure with other smokers as well. But you just bring that up, and you can adjust it however you want to. We'll get into that in a later video. One of the first things you want to do when you get one of these grills is you want to clean it out. Um, they have a lot of shipping grease or something. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's covering the inside of this thing, and basically you want to get all of that out. What I have for this is I got some Don Platinum. It's the degreaser everybody likes and I got the star, strong stuff. Uh, some steel wool, bucket of water, and I got a hose here. So that's what we're going to be using. And what I'm talking about by this shell this is if you see the side, take this shelf out here. take our uh, fire plate out that we're going to be using as a tuning plate and if you look right here you see all this grease that's on there well, that's not seasoning that's actually something to keep it from rusting while it's in storage at either academy or wherever uh, before it gets sold to a customer who buys it and then takes it home that's a pr to protect it from getting rusty i think that's my best guess on that so, but you don't want that to get into your food when it gets all heated up and the chemicals start going. Plus, you do want to season this grill out. And the first thing you got to do is you got to clean that up. Okay. It's going to be a nasty little job here, so you want to make sure you get your gloves on. Um, these are pretty good. These are Venom Steel uh, Mechanics gloves. They're pretty thick. Terror resistant. Let's see how long that lasts, trying to clean that up. And then, I'm going to get a healthy little dose of uh, that down there. Don't know exactly how much to use. We'll learn as we go here. And 
get to washing. I've seen a few people do this to where all they're doing is burning it out with a really high fire. And I still might set this thing on fire just to get some of the extra grease out of there, but I did want to do this by hand first. Sort of a make sure kind of thing. <laughs> Not sure I got it all. I hear tell on the I hear tell that that grease probably ain't too good for you. And you want it off of there. When it's time to do that uh seasoning with the cooking oil, vegetable oil. You want that metal to be bare when uh, it's time to season with that oil. You want anything in between there. You can feel that stuff coming off. It goes from rough to smooth pretty quick with this steel wool. Just getting into it. Of course, that Don's helping a lot. And it's a good thing this is just on the inside of the grill because that <laughs> washing all the outside of this grill probably more mature than I'd want to do. And you can tell there's more of it down here. So some of it seeped down when they applied it, or however they did it. And my daddy always told me to do the hard part of the job first. There's not too much of this contraption and stuff on the firebox, uh, cooking chamber, I should say. So, you want to get that firebox done first. That. That's a good thing about these things being um, being able to tilt them up. Don't you worry, we're going to be getting those grates too. You don't have to worry too much about that one. That'll receive fire like almost immediately. So it'll burn out a little bit easier. Let me get this plate. Might be taking this plate off of there. And I've seen a, different, a couple of different mods where they either remove the plate or drill holes into this plate. But a lot of people's general consensus is to not have this plate in there anymore because it throws off the temperatures across here. We'll see what it does. Throw some biscuits on the grate and uh, see where we're at on that. Be careful when you're getting underneath here. I bet that plate right there is pretty sharp. You can get your hand real good. 
so you got to be a little careful. If you come around there, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm getting all that side wall. Part of that about these suit and suds is to let you know where you didn't get. That's important. Alright. Doesn't take too long. When you're doing it with the steel wool, you can feel where it's coated on there. And then you can feel it sort of give way, like it's not there anymore. That's a good thing. You don't have to worry about the inside of the chimney too much, because by that time, if you've got the air flowing all the way through, there's any chemicals, whatever inside there, they're going to go away and they're never going to see. Your food's never going to see. You don't want your food to see. I'm going to burn it real hot, get what I don't get, this is just a way of making sure. See a little hole right there, that's going to, I'm going to put some silicone sealant right there. But that's what we're doing. We are learning. We're using this uh, this drill here to learn how to build a better smoker. I know I've already gone over this for a couple times. I'm just a little bit OCD when it comes to this stuff. Always best to make sure. Yeah. Look down in here, you can see most, if not all of that grease right there ain't there no more. part about washing out the uh, cooking chamber there is it's got this little drain hole and as a matter of fact this lets you know that there's a little bit of off level going towards that drain hole and that's a good thing you want that you want the grease to go down get near the little bucket however there's a little wall right here where you just have to tip up the group your smoker a little bit and let it drain out but that's no big deal that's easy enough pretty much all washed out there's a little bit of soap residual just got to make sure you get it all and beautiful thing about them drain holes I don't have to worry about that part of it and we're gonna get ourselves some towels and dry this thing off This thing's going to see two fires before it cooks. First fire is going to be the burnout to get rid of that shipping grease. 
again, whatever it's called, don't really know. If you have any uh, idea of what they call that stuff, leave it in the comments below. But I reckon shipping grease or storing grease or whatever, good name as any. Heck, I might have guessed it right, I don't know. I'm sure y'all let me know. So this first fire isn't going to be the seasoning fire. We're going to cover it with oil and then season it up. Nope. This first fire is going to be to help burn out all that grease. It's going to get real hot. And then we'll uh, do the seasoning after that. Well, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll try to have some more videos out here shortly, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching.